guys so we're back and we are jumping into our study of James which is chapter 1 verses 16 through 18 today so I'll see you in a minute after this little intro thing and then we're gonna jump right into it okay see you in a minute So today we are going to be studying the book of James chapter 1 verses 16 through 18. So we're going to jump right on in. Um, as always, I am using the NIV version, but you can use whatever version you like. So let's go ahead and get started. It says this, Don't be deceived, my dear brothers and sisters. Every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be kind of first fruits of all he created. And so I love this first verse. It says, don't be deceived, my dear brothers and sisters, that every good and perfect gift is from above. So just right away, I love that it's saying, hey guys, look, don't don't think that the small things aren't from God, okay? God doesn't just do these huge, big things that we look for. I mean, of course, we all look for them. We love to see, you know, healing. We love to see um, the miraculous things happen. But God is in the small things too. And he's saying, James is saying here, hey, look, don't disregard those small things, okay? It is only by God's goodness, God's goodness, that you are having those good and perfect gifts. So anything that is good is coming only from Him, the Father of the heavenly lights. So I love also that He says it's the Father of heavenly lights because it doesn't just say He's the creator of the heavenly lights. Of course, He is the creator of the sun and the moon and the stars and, and, and everything. He's our creator as well, but He's also our Father. And it takes sort of this, this enormous being that he is, and it shows us how intimate he is as well, how personal he wants his relationship with his creation to be. Um, and so much that he is our father and he sees us as his children. The word tells us that he gave us birth. And so I think that is incredible because we do tend to sort of overlook those small things. And we tend to overlook that he is not just God, although he is, <laughs> but he is our father. And so it says that every good and perfect gift is coming from down from above from the Father of heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows. Now, when I was a kid, I don't know if some of you guys did this too, but when I was a kid, uh, we used to do sort of like the, um, the shadow puppets. <laughs> and we had a blast with these things. We would make like, I can't remember all the little things that we do, but um, I know there was the dog and there was like the dinosaur <laughs> that you kind of do across the screen, you know, or the wall or whatever. And, um, and you know, it says that, look, he's not like a shifting shadow. He does not change. He can't even create a shadow because he projects, he projects light. And, um, and unlike us, you know, in, in our, our flesh, I mean, we, we don't have light coming out of our being, right? Um, we, when we stand in front of, of a, of a well-lit wall, we basically are going to be looking at, we're going to be creating a shadow because we're blocking the light. And it, does, it says that he doesn't change, that he doesn't change like shifting shadows. So he projects light. He is light. He is the creator of the light that says he's the father of heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows. And then it goes on to say, in verse 18, he chose to give us birth. There's the father thing again. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be kind of first fruits of all he created. Now, he's talking to the 12 tribes of Israel. So he's talking to Jewish believers, Jewish people here. And so they have this understanding of what it means to give their first fruits. And so you would have like a farmers who um, 
at their harvest, they would set aside their first and best crops. Um, if you had those who were um, shepherds, who had uh, fields of, of animals, I don't even know. I, I'm not, a, you know, I'm not a farmer. <laughs> I don't know anything about that stuff. But you've got, you know, those who have um, different animals, whether it be cows or whether it be sheep or whatever, they would set aside the first and the best and the most spotless animals for God to sacrifice and give as sort of a first fruits to God. And, um, and it was always the best of the best, okay? Like the cream of the crop, right? And so that's what he's saying here, that he chose to give us birth through the word of truth, that we might be kind of a first fruits of all he created. So we, now again, he's talking to those people, the, the, these people, okay, that he's writing to, but I think that we can look at us and say, we also, just like them, we also are meant to be set apart for God, set apart to project, to, we reflect him, of course, but we should be projecting that light. We should be reflecting that light that comes from the Father of heavenly lights, right? And so even though in our flesh and bone, we don't, in our physical beings, reflect light. But in our nature, in our character, we should be reflecting God's character, His love, His light, His kindness, His righteousness. We should be reflecting that in our lives to the rest of the world. So what I love to encourage you to do is to think about, hey, what are some of those things that maybe you've disregarded as being you know, small things that maybe you really haven't looked around you and, and thought about, hey, you know what? This is good. This is a good thing in my life. Maybe there's a lot of crap that is really wrong right now, okay? He doesn't tell you to completely ignore the bad things too, okay? But let's look around and say, what, what, is, what is that one good thing that is there right now? And know that that is a gift from your good Father. That is a gift from, from the perfect one above, the, the good and perfect gift that was sent from the Father of heavenly lights who loves you. And um, I'd love to hear some of your stories. I'd love to hear some of your thoughts. You can comment below. And of course, you can hit that subscribe button. There's a little icon to the lower left corner there. You can just hit that. That'll subscribe for you. Or you can go straight to my channel and hit subscribe however you want to do it. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of growing this community. I'd love to see us continue to grow and um, to just have more conversations. And you guys are amazing. I thank you so much for your support. And uh, I'll see you again next week. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.